Moving on to our next story, recent research has shown that the babies of teen mothers are more prone to birth defects. And doctors at Chris Harney Barakwanath Hospital say these disorders are sadly becoming more common. So now a bit of time to receive a brand new ICU from the Car Blanche Making a Difference campaign. A township just outside Krugersdorp is home to one-month-old baby Kitso, born with his bowel outside the abdominal cavity. His mother is 18-year-old Vedette Ferlant. They told me that his bowel is outside and then they say that he has to be operated. The bowel has to be put in back in his stomach. I thought that he was... I firstly thought that he was not going to make it. This condition is called gastroschisis and requires immediate surgical attention. It's a condition that has a very high or has the potential for a very high mortality. Dr. Loveland is a pediatric surgeon at Baraguanath Hospital. He says their greatest challenge is providing ICU beds for newborns like Kitso who've undergone surgery. A shortage of beds puts their lives at risk. But they've become susceptible to hospital-acquired infections, which can be life-threatening. And there's certainly been you know, more, than, more than two or three cases that have actually died prior to, to surgery because of not being able to get access to a bed. But now there's a six-bed ICU paid for with the money raised by the Carte Blanche Making a Difference Trust. The operating theatre complex also has two new theatres. The new ICU can function as a high-care ward or a post-surgical ICU to ventilate and support critically ill babies. It, it's, it's, it's gratifying to see that the contribution is being put to good use. Cynthia Abdejima is head of the Transnet Foundation that donated one million rand. It was only natural for us to get involved because of the realization of the shortages and the inequities that exist in the provision of healthcare. Genetic disorders in babies like Kitso are becoming more prevalent, especially when born to young mothers. But now lives are saved thanks to sponsors, including the Anglo American Chairman's Fund. In addition to being a member of the Chairman's Fund, I'm a parent. Uh, we have been there when, when my kids were being born. So to see a centre as excellent as this just makes you feel really good. It gives you hope. It gives you a sense of security that something is changing and something good is happening in this place. Pamela Madre is head of Sassel Corporate Social Investment. The physicians and the surgeons in training now have the opportunity to work with state-of-the-art technology. This is changing the course of healthcare, not just for the residents of Soweto, but healthcare in the country as a whole. Medical supply companies have also aligned themselves with the campaign. Drager donated 750,000 rands worth of equipment. Humanity actually stops when you stop caring for other human beings. And for us, obviously, it's a, it's a huge thing to see. It's not only just the babies that you're helping out, but the, the family behind them. Vedette was relieved when she could take her baby home. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> yeah, I smiled the whole day. I was happy. And we will soon be bringing you the story of a brand new pediatric hospital at King Edward VIII in Durban, built and equipped by the Making a Difference campaign and generous sponsors like BHP Peloton.